When I talk of personal transformation, the picture that flashes in front of my eyes is that of a caterpillar turning into a butterfly. Metamorphosis. It's a struggle. It's not comfortable. It's about going through the process. It's respecting the laws of the universe. The determination to not quit. To follow your dreams. Personal transformation is not sexy. It's messy. You're birthing a new version of yourself. It's uncomfortable. It's the path that 95% of the people do not choose to take. Only 5% of the people venture in that direction. It has nothing to do with how old you are, how much money you have, and how physically fit you are. Personal transformation is when you are so fed up with the way things are that you are ready to do what is needed to have a shift, to make the change that is necessary, whether it's in your relationships or your health or your career or your business. You are no longer willing to tolerate the way things are. You are ready to discover, to create, and birth a new version of yourself. I'm going to give you three steps that can help you in your journey towards your own personal transformation. The first thing is to be very crystal clear about your goal, your outcome, the end result. It's important to know where you're going before you start moving in the direction. I know you're clear you want to change, but it's very critical to know what you want. And the question you can ask is, what would I love? Clarity is power. The clearer you are, the easier it will be for you to create it in your own experience. Once you're clear, then you can move forward and begin to take the next steps about, hey, what do I need to do? What skills do I need to learn? What processes do I need to be aware of? Who are the people and the resources that I need to connect with? So be specific. That's critical. You may be somebody who says, oh, I want a lovely home. I want a good relationship. Or I want a thriving business. When I say be specific, what kind of house do you want? You want a thriving business? What are the services that you're providing? You want a good relationship? What kind of person are you willing to become so you can attract the relationship that you desire? The second tip is to be willing to be uncomfortable. See, you are venturing out into new territory. There's going to be roadblocks. There's going to be bumps. There's going to be hurdles. It's not going to be peaches and cream. Are you willing to be uncomfortable? Do you know that 95% of the people, they are not willing to be uncomfortable as they move toward their dream? The third tip that I'm going to give you is to be the person in your vision. The person who is living the life, who is in this beautiful home, who has a fulfilling relationship, who has a thriving business and who is serving customers. Ask yourself the question, how does this person present themselves? How does this person manage their calendar? What is this person doing from morning until night that they have the life that they are living? How do they listen and how do they communicate? Be clear, be willing to be uncomfortable and become the person in your vision now. 95% of the people are unwilling to do the work. The 5% who do, they do the things that they don't like to do. And they do those things first. They do the things on a consistent basis. They get the guidance they need that helps them to get out of their comfort zone. They learn new habits. They develop new methods. They acquire and adopt new strategies to help them become the person who's living the dream. While these steps work in general, your situation is unique. And to apply these 
for your unique situation, I recommend a brainstorming session where I can give you the one specific action that you can take that will move you forward quickly towards creating your transformation. Get on my calendar at beyondyourblocks.com.